TLU, Terry here in Michigan. I wanted to show you my latest classic radio acquisition. It's a Hamlin Pro 310 receiver. General coverage. Now at this point, I'm assuming it's not operational, but I wanted to take you through it, let you see the insides, and then I want to shoot some more videos as I repair this radio and put it back on the air. So take a look, see what you think. Thanks. All right, so front side, you can see she looks pretty good. It's all original. It is missing a nut here on the uh, phone jack. But all the controls turn. The band select does operate. You can see the drum turning here, okay? But the um, main tuning dials are not operational. The pointers don't move. They're pretty much froze up. So I'm gonna have to get inside and do a little repair job on that. So we'll walk our way around here to the rear. And you can see, she's all pretty much original that I can see. It looks like this coax jack's been replaced, but it's got the original ID tag. Swing her open here. You can see the insides. She's a beauty. A little bit of dust. Looks like one of the bands here is disconnected, which I would expect. But it's all there. It's all intact even the shield for the rectifier, and there's the calibrator. So it looks to be in really nice shape. Another thing that's kind of cool is they had uh, the nomenclature on the lid here. Working way, way around. So it's kind of nice, very nice construction. Super heavy though, this thing weighs about 65 pounds. So it's gonna be a fun uh, restoration project. Well, that's all I have on this for now. So we'll have some uh, follow-up videos and I'll show the repair of the tuning mechanism and the electronic restoration. And then we'll put her on the air and uh, see if this thing sounds as good as what it's made out to be. Here it's an all-time classic. We only made like a thousand of them. But one's here at N6TLU Shack, 73.